Hello and welcome back to this Monstack project course where we are going to develop and deploy a real-time chat application using Monstack. Now before we start development and write some code, I want to give you a brief overview of how this course is structured and what we are going to cover in each section of this course. So from the second section of this course, we will start with API development. In this section, we are going to create the required APIs for our real-time chat application. For example, login API, sign up API, API for sending and receiving messages, creating chats, etc. In this section, we will set up a Node.js project. We will install Express, which is a Node.js framework for writing efficient code in Node.js. We will also create a MongoDB database in Atlas, which is a cloud-based service for hosting MongoDB database. And to see the collections and check the data in MongoDB database, we are going to use Compass, which is a GUI for working with MongoDB database. And I will show you how to create an Atlas account and how to host your MongoDB database in Atlas in this section. Finally, we will also connect our Express application to MongoDB database. And then we will create API endpoints for different functionalities of our chat application. And to test these APIs, we are going to use Postman. Postman is a popular tool for testing and documenting APIs. We will be using Postman in the first section for testing the APIs, which we will create and also inspect the responses and fix the errors in our API if there is any. Okay. So the next section of this course is going to be very important. And there will be mainly focused on creating APIs and testing it using Postman. Once we have defined all the APIs in the Express application and tested and verified it, in the third section, we are going to start work on UI design using React. React is a popular front-end library for creating reusable UI components. We are going to start with designing login and sign-up page for our real-time chat application. We are going to work on authentication and authorization by calling login and sign-up APIs from our React application. And we will also be creating the required states like user state, chat state, message state, etc. And for that, we will be using React Redux. So we are going to use React Redux for state management. Then we will also create required pages for our chat application and protect it from unauthorized access. So we are going to have a login page, a sign up page, a home page, and also a profile page. And home page and profile page should be protected it should not be accessed by any unauthorized user. If a user is not logged in, he should not be able to access the home page and profile page. So that functionality also we are going to implement in this section. And we will also work on showing the latest message of a chat, unread message count, and we will also work on sorting the chat list whenever an existing chat receives a new message. So whenever an existing chat receives a new message, it should move to the top. So that functionality also we are going to work in this section. And the HTML and CSS, which I'm going to use to design these pages, I will upload it to a GitHub repo and you can download and use it for your reference. And in this way, we won't be spending much time on writing and understanding HTML and CSS. Instead, we will focus more on the functionality of our application instead of designing the application. After this section is complete, we are going to work on real time data transfer. So sending and receiving messages in real time, updating the chat list in real time and so on. So in this section, that is in section four, we are going to work with WebSockets. And I will explain what WebSocket is and how it works. And we are going to use socket.io for real time data transfer. And for that, we are going to use socket.io for our client and server application. So basically we are going to install it for our React application as well as our Express application. And then we will see how we can connect our client application with our server application in real time. Okay, so basically we are going to implement functionalities like sending messages in real time, updating unread message count, sorting the chats based on latest message, etc. all in real time. We will also work on functionality like showing typing indicator when the opposite user is typing a message and also show all the online users in the chat list. So this section is going to be very important and this is going to be the core of our real time chat application because in this section only we are going to learn how we can transfer data in real time between client and server. So without refreshing the page, 
the user should receive a message and he should be able to send a message. He should also be able to see all the online and offline users in real time. Okay, so this section is going to be very important. And finally, after that section, in the fourth section of this course, we will work on remaining functionalities like allowing users to send emojis, images, etc. in the message allow user to upload their profile picture and show that profile picture wherever it is required and in the final section of this course we will work on any bug fix which is required any ui changes which we can do and then finally we will deploy our application to render okay so i hope you are excited to start this course and learn the power of mernstack along with socket.io to create a simple but amazing real-time chat application and this course will equip you with the knowledge of how to use these technologies in a real world project. So without any further ado, let's move to the next lecture and let's start developing a simple but effective real time chat application. This is all from this lecture. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.